So there are a number of uh, clinical diagnoses in patient populations who I feel are great candidates for this type of approach. So one of the most common ones that we see are patients with uh, primary brain tumors. And these include tumors that are difficult to access, meaning tumors that are deep in the brain that can't be reached through open surgical procedures, such as uh, thalamic glioblastomas or insular gliomas, are two common names that you'll hear. Another uh, category of primary brain tumor where I think that this offers a great therapy is for recurrent uh, glioblastomas or recurrent malignant uh, primary brain tumors. These are often patients who have had quite a number of therapies previously, meaning previous surgery, previous radiation, previous chemotherapy. And really, when they have a small recurrence, that it, be, it becomes very risky to go through a, another open surgery for them because they're already somewhat frail. And the ability to go in and precisely treat just that area of local recurrence uh, provides a nice alternative. Uh, another category are brain metastases, tumors that have been spread from a different part of the body and have been treated with radiation and have now come back and are no, are no longer candidates for radiation. Uh, another category is when radiation itself causes an inflammatory irritating process known as radiation necrosis. That sometimes can be also treated with uh, uh, laser therapy. Finally, and a growing indication is for epilepsy. These are patients who have some part of their brain that's irritating the rest of the brain uh, by creating a lot of noise and uh, pathologic signals. And so by placing the laser in that, uh, in that zone and killing that, that irritating lesion, we can significantly impact their epilepsy.